All right, now we're dealing with the install of our, our modified oil pan. You can see that we scalloped the, uh, a section of the aluminum oil pan. Um, just wanted to show you a close-up here of the reason for the need for that scallop. Uh, we've got the existing oil pan there, and you can see the potential interaction with the uh, Dana 44 housing there. Uh, let me shift angles just a little bit, and, and that may enable you to see it a little bit better. But essentially, we, we have to scallop and shave off this, this portion uh, to where we clear the, clear the housing. Um, it's also wise if you're running a lift kit. Typically, what you want to do is the amount of the lift kit, then, then you bump up the bump stops as well. <clears throat> and between those two things, it enables you to have the clearance that you need with installing the, the new oil pan. I uh, wanted to mention also, uh, first gens used entirely this full aluminum oil pan. In 17 model year, Ford switched to a, a two-piece pan, so the upper part was aluminum, and then the lower part was, was composite. And um, uh, sometime after 17 model year, they went back to a, to a full one-piece. But in order to, to be backwards compatible, <clears throat> the two-piece used a little bit longer of an oil pump pickup tube. Um, and for the Gen 2, the diameter of, of the pickup tube was a little bit increased as well. So you just have to be careful and make sure that your oil pump pickup tube is compatible with the pan that you have. If you're running a, a 17 or newer Gen 2 that had the composite uh, two-piece pan, I believe that you'll have to either get the new pickup tube when they reverted back or uh, trim off a, a section of the pickup tube um, to be able to, to be compatible. Now, the way we go about this oil pan install, I'll just show you here from the back side of the bell housing, is um, if, if your trans and, and engine are, are connected when you're doing the oil pan uh, removal and install, you just need to loosen all the bell ho housing bolts. I like to do that with the uh, engine and, and trans in place, being supported in the back with the, uh, with the trans um, cross member or, or some kind of, uh, of a jack. You can see we've got a jack in place here, lifting it up just a pinch. And once you, once you loosen the bolts and put a jack under it, uh, you want to just separate the, the bell housing from the uh, from the engine, the, the trans from the engine, just a, about a quarter inch, not too much. You can get away with that without do, undoing the, um, the torque converter bolts and the flex plate, uh, but you don't want to go much more than that uh, or, or you'd, risk, uh, you'd risk causing some damage to the torque converter or flex plate. So just be careful about that. Now, the reason that you need to separate these by just a little bit is in the front, I'll show you, on the front cover of the engine, uh, there's four bolts here in the front, and those four bolts on the front cover go into the oil pan itself. So the oil pan um, is at about this level, the, the bottom surface of the block, and, uh, and this is all sealed with, with RTV sealant, okay? As well as the, uh, the top surface of, of the pan. And so it's, it, it, it's a it's a pretty tight fit and in order to provide clearance without wiping off the RTV from the front as as you put it in place you need to have that clearance in the back where you can hug the back and and slide it up in place in the front um, uh, before tightening it up so that's about it as as far as the pan install it's pretty straightforward just uh, these four bolts in the front and then the other bolts around the perimeter on the bottom and then it uh, and then it drops. It's it's all a, an RTV sealed um, surface. And so by by replacing the RTV, I like to to run a short bead. Uh, this, I learned this actually when I was uh, when I was a teenager working in a working in a garage. Um, just just run a, a bead of RTV around the inside sealing surface, and then. I like to wipe it down with my finger to, to reduce the diameter of it, or excuse me, to reduce the flatness of it a little bit, the diameter of the bead to make it flat. So on this surface, and then these, these other 
these other three, uh, three surfaces and just wipe it down a little bit and then give it, uh, give it a few minutes to develop a bit of a skin on, on this surface. The other surface on the block, just uh, razor blade off clean and, uh, and wipe it down with uh, brake parts cleaner on a rag or something of that nature to clean it so that the, the RTV will adhere real nice. You're starting with a fresh pan here, and so it, hopefully that's degreased before you even get going. Um, but that's essentially the oil pan install. Um, you can see here in the back, all along the, the uh, edge where the trans would be, that those, those bolts are quite long. Uh, or at least they look long. This, this one here is a bit longer. These two are shorter. You just have to have an extension to, to run up in there to be able to get them. Overall, this is, this is real quick if you, if you follow the process. Once this is in place, I like to, I like to just lightly, uh, lightly tighten all of all the bolts. I start with the front, uh, wanting to get those lightly tightened and then, and then I, I work my way back, um, making sure that you that you don't over tighten in one sequence you go around the perimeter a bit to be able to tighten them a little bit at a time so that's the that's the oil pan install i'll be throwing this on here shortly and then again just run the uh run the bell housing bolts up tight again and then you're all set